Hi friends! This is a short yoga sequence for you to do right when you roll out of bed. I get asked a lot as a yoga instructor, mostly by my friends who are not really that into yoga, what are a few things I can do first thing in the morning right when I wake up to help me feel a little more limber in my back and um, my back muscles, my spine, everything just to kind of loosen up for the day? So that's what this is. Um, this isn't necessarily a long yoga practice or anything too specific. It's just designed to help you start your day off right. So my hope is that you can watch this video a few times and really learn the poses well so that you do them safely and efficiently. And then um, hopefully you won't need me anymore after that and you can use this little sequence on your own and go at your own pace and maybe spend however much time you want to in each individual pose. Um, if you're interested in the actual benefits of the poses and how they work and why, uh, maybe read my blog post, um, Yoga First Thing in the Morning on smalltownyogini.com. Otherwise, let's get going. Uh, anytime you have a yoga practice, we always want to have a big emphasis on the breath. And even for you guys who aren't really into yoga, um, spend a little time getting your breath. Take a few breaths. Um, just to clear your mind and wake up, make your intention for the day if you've got something going on that day or think a grateful thought or think a quote, like whatever, like make it your own, but spend a little time to set the tone for it right. And then just catch your breath, have a few breaths, and then we're going to start moving into cat and cow pose for your spine and this will feel really nice on your spine first thing in the morning. So come to all fours pose and we want to set up our foundation in our hands so we want to really spread the hands the fingers wide to get the hands as sturdy as we can as we plant them on the mat we put our hands directly under our shoulders and our knees directly under our hips and then we think about kind of pressing the floor away from us so not this lazy shoulders but active strong safe shoulders and then from here we just take a big breath in as we start to aim your tailbone up Start to lengthen your spine and lift your heart last. On an exhale, point your tailbone down. Start to round up your spine, dropping your head last. Again, inhale, tilt your tailbone up as we start to head back into cow pose. Exhale, tilt the tailbone down as we head into cat pose. So going with your breath with this. It's really nice and soothing in the morning or really anytime, but you can kind of work out the kinks in your back, feel a little better after you do this, and just keep it going with your breath. You can do this as long as you need to, maybe a minute or two, whatever you need. Make it fit you that day. When you have enough of cat and cow poses, we'll start to walk our way out just shifting briefly into a plank just to kind of get your hands and feet set up right. And then we're going to go ahead, press the hips up, coming into downward dog pose. So in downward dog pose, still our foundation is set in our hands. So we want to have sturdy hands. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, you're probably pretty stiff. So go ahead and just bend your knees. Take it easy on your hamstrings so that you can also aim your tailbone up better. So now we're going for really long spine we're pressing the hands down and at the same time lifting the hips up we think about activating the shoulder blades and pulling them kind of away from the ears and the head so that we relieve any tension in the neck and then for now first thing in the morning it's great to just bend one knee gently press the other heel down and then gently switch sides so you're breathing with it kind of find a little rhythm with it and it's great to just gently lengthen the back of the legs and get some motion in your feet and your ankles and your toes. And when you have enough of this, just coming back to downward dog before gently coming down to your knees. If your wrists are achy, have a little rest in child's pose. Find a place that's comfortable. And when you've caught your breath again, We'll come right back into plank pose. So again, set your foundation in your hands, press them down, and then gently lift off into plank pose. In your plank pose, we're pressing the floor down. So again, not this, but this. Our neck is nice and long, no strain. 
We're pointing our tailbone towards our heels and we're pressing down through the heels. We're engaging the core, the back muscles, the legs, everything. Everything's working in your plank pose. Everything's making you stronger. So breathe with it. Deep breaths in and out. Find a place where you're challenged, but you're not going to get so out of breath, huffing and puffing. <laughs> Take one more deep breath. Gently come down to your knees. Rest again if you need to. Or just come up to a seated pose. So last couple things that I love to do for my back is find whatever comfortable position you want to. Make sure that you're on your hip bones so that you can sit up nice and tall. Shoulders are back and down. And again, just catch your breath. Have a couple deep breaths. Then we're going to take this into moving throughout the spine um, with some twists and some lateral flexion so that you've moved your spine every way possible in a safe way right off the bat in the morning. So bring your hands to prayer pose. On your inhales, think about lengthening your spine, bringing your spine into neutral, so you're just normal. And on an exhale, we gently start to twist. We'll just kind of float the hands down and then eventually looking over the shoulder. On an inhale, come back to face the front, lengthen, be neutral again. On an exhale, twist the opposite way. So we have a big emphasis on the inhales of bringing the spine back into neutral every time. We're just going to flow with our breath. So on the inhales, come back to neutral. On your exhales, twist gently. You can think of your twists as a little spiral staircase. So you start at the bottom area and you work your way up. You always move your neck and your head last. That way you're making sure your low back is safe. So again, it's a neutral spine and then it's a gentle twist. And it's an inhale and an exhale. When you've had enough of that, move on to the next thing, which is our last thing, moving our spine a little bit laterally. So again, we always start with a neutral spine. Anytime we're talking about moving our spine in a different direction, we wanna start safe and neutral. So when you're ready, inhale, lift up one arm, kind of think of lengthening through the side, reaching up as high as you can activating your core and then if you want to having a little bit of a stretch as you reach overhead so it's not a competition or uh, trying to see how far you can slump over it's more of a active lengthening reaching up through your side and just getting the gentle flexion in your spine then come back to neutral realign your spine make sure it's nice and safe and then do the other side Again, we lengthen, we engage, and then we reach gently. And we're, it's like you're trying to touch the ceiling. So it's an active lengthening the whole time. And then you can flow with breath on this if you want to. We can inhale, come up. Exhale, gently reach. Inhale, coming up. Exhaling, gently reach. And do that as many times as you need to. Always finish catching your breath, thinking a grateful thought, and there you go. Have a good day. <laughs>